How's it going troops? Jordan here bringing you episode 12 of my Call of Duty Ghost Weapon Guides. In this episode I will be covering the AK-12. The AK-12 is a fully automatic assault rifle. It is a Russian weapon and was designed back in 2010 by the original AK designer Mikhail Kalashnikov. As you can tell by the name of the weapon, the AK-12 started production back in 2012 and was manufactured by Kalashnikov Concern which was formerly known as Ishmash. The first AK rifle, being the AK-47, was designed in post-World War II. It was designed by Mikhail Kalashnikov and manufactured by Ismash, as well as various other companies. Production of the AK-47 started in 1949 to 1959. As of today, there are more than 75 million AK-47s produced. On May 25, 2010, the Russian Defense Ministry made a statement that the AK-12 rifle was to be tested in 2011. The demonstration model that was shown to Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin was of the AK-200 at the time. Obviously the AK-200 was the former name of the AK-12. At the time of Putin's visit, the AK-200 was a basic AK-74 with a standard 5.45x39mm calibre. In January of 2012, the Russian Deputy Defence Minister announced that the Russian army would not be buying the AK-12 as they had millions of surplus AK-74 rifles. They also had concerns over the financial state of Ismash. Despite this setback, Russia began trials of the rifle on November 2nd, 2012. It was mainly tested for its effectiveness when exposed to freezing cold and desert heat temperatures, humidity, dust and impacts. On November 23rd, the trials were about 80% complete. However, there was a huge issue with the AK-12, as during the initial tests, it was found that it had a range of defects However, these specific problems were not revealed, as they were considered the developer's confidential information. On September 16th of 2013, the Deputy Chairman of the Military Industrial Commission of Russia said the Russian army would start receiving AK-12 assault rifles, chambered in the 5.45mm and 7.62mm calibre in 2014. However, one thing that was astonishing was that the basic AK-12 rifle allowed for nearly 20 different modifications which could be later changed into other configurations. With that said, let's move on to some in-game stats for the AK-12 in Call of Duty Ghost Multiplayer. The magazine size for the AK-12 is the assault rifle standard of 30 rounds. However, if you equip the extended mags attachment, this gives your weapon an extra 15 rounds, totaling up to 45. The fire rate of the AK-12 is quite moderate at 697 rounds per minute. The reload time is a little slow at 3.27 seconds or 3.6 seconds when empty. One thing that makes the AK-12 a great weapon to use in game is the fact that it has low recoil. Although players tend to use a foregrip when using the weapon in game, there really is no need. Another thing that makes the AK-12 a great weapon to use in game is its damage. Up close the AK-12 has 49 damage, which is capable of getting a kill in 3 shots if you aim at the body or 2 shots if you aim at the head due to the 1.4 times headshot multiplier. Over range, the damage drops off to 25, meaning it's 4 shots to the body and 3 shots to the head instead. The one thing that you want to do with the AK-12 is aim at the chest area. Because of the AK-12 having low recoil, there is a slight chance that you might pop a shot in the head, causing you to get a kill in one less shot. Moving on to my recommended attachments for the AK-12, my first recommended attachment is the silencer. The silencer is a very good attachment to use and it works perfectly with the AK-12. Even with the decreased range, the AK-12 is still a powerhouse. The silencer also allows you to keep off the radar when firing. With that said, the silencer is a perfect pairing with the AK-12. My second recommended attachment is the foregrip. As I said earlier, the AK-12 doesn't really need a foregrip as it already has low recoil. But equipping the foregrip allows us to reduce that recoil even more, making us extremely accurate when firing over distance. Alternatively, you can use my third recommended attachment, that being extended mags. Extended mags is very useful if you're taking out multiple foes at one time. Simply having those extra 15 rounds in hand can definitely come useful. So moving on to my recommended perks. My first recommended perk is Ready Up. Like I said before, the AK-12 is a powerhouse due to that high damage, and having our weapon ready after sprinting a lot faster can definitely give us a fighting chance in close quarters. My second recommended perk is Sleight of Hand. Sleight of Hand halvens our reload time, and I find that Sleight of Hand is the most useful perk to use when using the AK-12. My third recommended perk is Focus. As I've said in previous guides, the Focus perk is an all-round perk to use, 
allowing you to flinch less when getting shot at, and also reduces that idle sway when aiming down our sights. My fourth recommended perk is Stalker. Stalker is my second favourite perk to use when paired with the AK-12. Simply moving faster whilst also aiming down your sights, and with that high damage in mind, it is a perfect combo to take out your enemies in one-on-one -on -one gunfights. My fifth recommended perk is Dead Silence. With your footsteps being quiet, the enemy will find it hard to hear out your location, allowing you to sneakily get a kill from behind, without them being aware of your presence. My sixth recommended perk is Scavenger. Scavenger allows you to replenish your ammo supply when walking over fallen foes. It is a very good perk to use if you're going to be on the move a lot. My seventh recommended perk is Quick Draw. Quick Draw allows you to aim down your sights faster, and this perk goes very well with Ready Up. Simply allowing you to have your weapon faster after sprinting and also aim down your sights faster, it's going to be very easy to take your targets out with that faster pace. And finally, my last recommended perk is Off the Grid. Off the Grid and Dead Silence are the perfect stealth combo, and of course, if you equip the Silencer on the AK 12, then this makes an awesome build for a stealth assault class. Speaking of classes, it's time to move on with my classes that I recommend when using the AK 12. My first AK-12 class allows you to be stealthy whilst on the move. For my attachments choice, I've gone with the silencer and the foregrip. I've got no secondary, lethal or tactical, leaving the rest of the points spent on perks. My perks are sleight of hand, dead silence, off the grid, scavenger and focus. For my strike package, I've gone with assault and I've chosen the satcom, the trinity rocket and the battle hind as my strike chain. Moving on to my second AK-12 class, this is built to be an aggressive class to use. For my attachments, once again I've gone with the silencer and the foregrip. I've got no secondary, lethal or tactical once again, leaving the rest of the points spent on perks. This time for my perks, I went with sleight of hand, stalker, dead silence, scavenger and focus. For my strike package, I went with assault, and for my strike chain, I went with the guard dog, the traitor rocket and the griffin. So overall, the AK-12 is a very good assault rifle to use in-game. It's certainly one of my favourites, not just because it performs well in-game, but the fact that it's the latest derivative in the AK family makes it a very legendary weapon. So this concludes my weapon guide to the AK-12. Join me next time when I'll be covering the K7 submachine gun. If you enjoyed this Call of Duty Ghost weapon guide, then a thumbs up would be much appreciated. So until the next video, I thank you all for watching, stay true to me troops, and I'll see you in-game.